Do you own a Thrustmaster Warthog? And more importantly, do you actually fly the Warthog in DCS? Every now and then I stumble across something in Flight Sim World that just kind of blows my mind. And this little thing, while it might not be some new crazy piece of tech, the simplicity and the idea behind it is absolutely brilliant. For 70 Australian dollars, you can change out your Warthog top plate in minutes and replace it with one of these. And the best thing is they're available in a huge variety of jets or spacecraft for different sims. A few of them being for games like Star Citizen, Elite Dangerous and obviously DCS like the F-18, F-16, F-14 and so on. Let's start off with why you would buy one of these. Because it's 70 Australian dollars, I can understand why some people might think it's like just a little expensive. But to me, it's not about what it's made of or how it's made. In this case, it's, it's the idea. And I think the idea is absolute genius. If you're like me, learning button assignments can be a bit frustrating and difficult at times. It makes it even harder when the button box or throttle that you're using is pre-designed for a different plane other than the one you're flying. This little bad boy fixes some of that frustration. I'll just give you a closer look. Hope you can see that. That's the bottom piece there. Hopefully the camera's focusing on Got on the right focus mode. So look, I fly the F-18s and a little bit of F-16s in DCS, so I reached out to Tech Creations and they kindly sent me the F-18 model for review. For me, this little upgrade to the Warthog throttle makes it a little bit easier to develop that muscle memory needed to fly efficiently. And the best thing is, Tech Creations can actually custom make one of these for you to go along with your personal preference if you want to take that extra step. Obviously it's not going to change the buttons on the grip, but it completely relabels all of the buttons and the axis on the base. Now, it looks like a laser etched acrylic panel, very similar to the Warthog plate. I would say it's somewhat compatible with the existing LED backlighting. And you can see it here in the F-18 version. It works quite well and there's only a few missing spots. It really does have a nice satin finish to it and I actually prefer the finish on this compared to the original Warthog plate. Talking about fit and finish, this lined up and screwed in perfectly. So the attention to detail is great and there's absolutely no complaints there. But let's address the main drawback, which I did briefly mention. And that's the backlighting. You can see here that not all the lights match up perfectly with the labels. And that's something that can't really be avoided, unfortunately. But it didn't bother me that much. I think the benefit of having a more seamless experience with my chosen jet outweighs the fact that not all the lights are perfectly aligned. And I got used to it pretty quickly. So the pros and cons, and as usual, we'll start with the pros. For me, it makes flying, or would make learning your chosen plane or spacecraft that little bit easier. There's tons of different models, a full list in the description. Tech creations were very responsive in the communication. The quality, even close up, matches that or even exceeds that of the original Warthog plate. It's very easy and quick to fit. You can fit it in almost under a minute. It's got a really, really nice finish. And the cons, the only one I can think of is the mismatch on the LEDs or the backlighting. I will say that Tech Creations clearly state that on the website, so they're not trying to hide this in any way, shape or form. Look, if you're still watching this, chances are you love the idea of this plate. And it really is a great idea. If you don't mind a few spots of mismatched backlighting here and there, and you want something to help you streamline or offer more of a consistency of learning a specific plane, then this is it. What a great little addition to this sim. The fit and finish are perfect. The installation takes less than five minutes. Sorry, less than five minutes? Like less than a minute. I think I did it in about 50 seconds the second time around. Um, the price is what I would call fair. It's got worldwide shipping, so literally anybody can get hold of one of these. I have to finish off by saying that if you're a DCS, Star Citizen or Elite Dangerous fan, then you need to check out the Tech Creations online store. I will leave a link in the description. They've got some epic toys on there for anyone looking to build out a proper, proper sim.